Hey man, you need to hear this. If you're looking for fast, cheap, and reliable muck coins, I highly recommend to check out my sponsor, DMC Discount Muck Coins, and use code 187 for 10 percent off at checkout. Champ Scott Mo. Thank you, gentlemen. Here we go. They're playing for that belt. Something the Redskins have done year after year, and that's oh so coveted. Will it be Banks IQ or will it be Techers? We're going to put 20 minutes on the clock to find out, and this might be the fastest game of Madden that we've seen early in this club championship. Yeah, both these guys are going to be establishing in that run. I would look to see if maybe one of them gets stuffed up, you know, and see what happens then, because I feel like this game could drag out a little bit. We're going to see a lot of incomplete passes if that goes on. No doubt if Banks IQ has to punt, Techers is going to be in some sort of punt safe. I would I would assume so, and I, I just seen Techers right before the game just just take one last little, you know, enjoy the moment. Get out there, play some good Madden football. This is what it's all about. Techers has won now $5,700. I did the math. That's 4,400 pounds over in UK. And Banks now 2750 as he moves his record to 7-2 and two in the MCS era. And he will start with it first at the 24-yard line. I would, I'm really interested to see what Techers runs, uses against the run as far as defense goes, because Ghost doesn't run the ball at all. We never had to see his run defense at all. And, you know, that's kind of an edge to Techers because Banks IQ has no idea how to attack this defense at all. Banks coming from the Xbox One, Techers on the PlayStation 4. So this is the first time we have assumed they have met. And it'll be first and 10 after they set the audibles and get ready to go. All about the X's and O's, but for Banks IQ, it's all about the Jimmys and Joes <laughs> as the nasty streak. A lot of folks say in chat, though, I mean, you've seen the nasty streak enough. If you don't know how to stop it, then maybe you shouldn't be here. Quick throw. Try to go Not backside today. on the RPO, no. and no. no one is home. No show. Not today, says Techers. You know, I love it. And... Techers is in that mo the most popular run defense in the game. It actually kind of impressed me. He has the, he's running that Storm Brave 3-4 odd. The most popular run defense in the game 100%. So I'm interested to see if he's going to be able to stop this, this Jim Brown show. And they hand it off to Jim Brown. And he'll go to the 25-yard line. Great user there by Techers. Plugs the hole. Looked like he might have got caught in the middle. Ends up getting to the outside and stuff in it. Third and nine. Look for a pass here. Jim Brown, the legend. Number six pick overall by the Browns back in 1957. And here's a third and nine. Rodgers up under center. He'll go to the air. And here comes the pick. heat. He throws a low throw, and Dante could not pick it off the turf. Here comes a fourth down. And that play looked like it had no shot at work. And I wonder if Techers was already in here and didn't happen to see that, that fourth down punt coverage that we've seen from Big Show. Hopefully, to, look, he's in a regular defense guy. He didn't even come out and punt safe. He's not taking any chances. He says, I earned my stop. You know, punt it out of bounds. I don't care. Some really smart by Tigers there. I love to see that. They call a fake in the UK, either a dummy or a Muppet. He's not falling for anything here in the final. And he's going to get the ball. A good field position here for Tigers. 10 and 3 now in the MCS after the huge win by Goes. Redeeming himself from a year ago when he came up short in the final. Looking to finally get over that hump here. And that was a quick three and out. Yeah, perfect defense. Really never had even a threat of giving up a big play right there. And that third down, just phenomenal defense, pass coverage. And, you know, Banks didn't look comfortable. We might have seen Banks run the ball on third down in that semifinal. Maybe a little bit nervous here, Scott. So he's going to set up his audibles on his side of the ball. And instead of going with Jimmy Brown, he's going to bring out Clinton Portis, who really toted the mill for him against Goes. But he was also able to get it done in the air. So who knows what we're going to see here from Techers. Hands it off to Clinton. And Pat Tillman will come up on the stop. I wouldn't expect to see Techers break very many big runs here. Maybe he's going to be able to grind them out with four or five yard gains. But when you have two secure tacklers at safety, it's really hard to break a big one. Second and eight. Oh, 
Flip the formation. Hall will go wide to the right. I like stretch left here, Scott. He'll bring him in motion. Flip it. Run it to the right. Oh. That's to snap it, and he'll go to the near side, and no one's home. Patrick Tillman one more time. That was really, really close, though. He almost got out of there. He just needed a juke maybe just a little bit later. I don't know if Tillman would have been able to make that secure tackle. Pat Tillman, a seventh round pick. Pick number 226. Third and nine. Which is crazy. I mean, he was the Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year. And then ends up going in the seventh round. Rivers. Got time. Steps back and finds Clint Portis out of the backfield. And Tillman has to force him out of bounds at the 43. And it looks like that's all the only route that Banks had to cover. Just kind of a just kind of a leak right there in his user. He probably didn't exactly know what he was going to run. Could have followed the other drag, but that was manned up. Just just didn't really know where his coverages were at. Gives up the first down. So first and 10 now at the 43. Here in the final. One of these guys that's going to represent the Washington Redskins in the round of 32. That's a big honor because they have a former overall club champion in Goes who just got beat by that man right there. I expect Tekers to go right back to the run. He, he doesn't want to pass the ball as his main offense. He wants to be able to run the ball and that open up the passing game. He doesn't want to sit back and pass when we know he has to pass. Portis. Slip his way to the 46. Three carries for four yards. Not the start you're looking for if you're Techers. So second and seven. Going to this, this going to this shot play early that we've seen him go, go run against Ghost a lot. Audible's to the run. I'm gonna bring Dante a little tighter in. And he'll hand it off to Portis. Portis trying to get to the edge. Tillman will track him down and force him out of the 48. Boy, this Pat Tillman is all over the place. I do like what Tekers did right there. He realized that there was two secure tacklers in front of him. He wasn't going to juke them both. So he just kind of gets to the sideline, picks up what he can pick up. Probably the difference in, in three yards right there. It probably would have been third and seven if he tried to juke back into him. We wouldn't have been able to juke him. Just really, really smart by Tekers. Of course, Pat Tillman went to high school at Leland High School in San Jose, California. That's right down the road from the studios here in San Fran. And here comes a third and four. 2.10 to go here in the quarter. River hands it off to Whoa. Portis and another big hit. This time it's long hair, don't care, Troy Palomalu. It's unfair the amount of safeties <laughs> Banks has out there. Especially when they're the two best ones in the game. Fourth and three at the 50 yard line, right on the Redskins logo. Watch for that angle route. Smith coming to motion. He's hitting a Grant a few times out of this. And Let's he go. throws it right to Pat P. And watch out, folks. Let's go, man. Oh, I don't. Let's go, Pat. Look like he missed this fullback maybe out I the I think backfield. he had the angle route. I think he might have had the angle route out of the backfield there. But it gets really congested right there when you're throwing out of those formations and you have your outside wide receiver and he's not on a go route or a deep post. He kind of takes up a lot of the field when you put him on just that small in round. So after the turnover, there's Jim Brown right up the middle. Awesome. And he'll tote it down to the 37 yard line. Banks First goes, and ten. Banks goes straight to that two clock. He wants to get this game over as fast as possible. Looks like he's gonna try to bounce it left here. Mm. Goes to Jim Brown once again. This time he's stuffed. I would expect Banks to keep going back to that run. He's motioning over Joe Thomas, and the cornerback isn't following. What that tells me is I know if I motion Joe to the left and maybe run an outside run there, I'm going to have Joe Thomas leading the way, probably get a touchdown, something to look out for in the rest of this game. At 12,312 yards as a running back, and that time he got zero. Ten seconds to go here in the first quarter. This game is moving by, and there's the arm bar, and he'll fall forward to the 33, and that'll take us to the end of one. 0-0 zero, zero here in the final. And we're going to see a run here on this third and seven. He doesn't want to take a sack here, so he's going to have to run the ball. 
Hopefully Tekkers realizes that, just kind of tries to contain him, doesn't go for some crazy defense where he's blitzing. Just contain him here. He's going to he's gonna kick his field goal. He's going to take his lead. This is his first live event. He's not looking to be in these high-intensity situations. Expect a run here, and expect Tekkers to hold him to three. Taylor in motion. Hands it off to Jim Brown, and they're going to mark him down at the 31. So we got a 48-yard field goal and coming. Carlson will have an opportunity here to give Banks IQ the lead. And Banks is taking the clock out every single time. He doesn't care. It doesn't even matter. He doesn't really gain anything by taking the clock here, but he just wants the game to be as short as possible, as consistent as possible, probably as little of possessions as possible because he, he knows he doesn't have much to offer as far as offense goes. It's always just going to be, I'm going to run the ball. And if you, if you end up learning to stop it in the game, those multiple possessions will hurt him. Dante will take it at his own goal line. And there's a hit by Troy at the 18. So poor starting position here for Techers. Takes a drink of the H2O. On first and 10. A little over four minutes to go. Here in the first half. Got him. Techers trying to get to the outside. Got a block on Tillman. And was that Anthony Barr that forced him out? It was. That Anthony Barr is a really, really good linebacker in this game. Probably like a top five to ten linebacker as far as salary cap goes. Just goes a little bit on preference. Second and one. Oh. He was like a mutt god hero forever. Oh, yeah. When, when people used to use him as their user, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, got the speed, got, got all the intangibles. Just unfortunately, it's not as good lurking on the linebackers well, the anymore. The changes the ball hawk would change a little bit of that. Which are good changes. They were good changes <laughs> yes, for the we, game. We, Those linebackers used we to We welcome out those the changes. Yes, yeah, sir. The li linebackers used to jump out the gym. <laughs> Don't like seeing that. You can hear the clicking back and forth. That's him He's trying to get some stam back for Clinton Port. His first to 10. Tecker's trailing by a field goal. He'll hand it off one more time. Portis, and there's White to clean it up. Made Tillman miss, but couldn't get away. I think the story of this game is going to come down to who can get seven on the board first. And this is those moments that you like to call timeout. Yeah. I, you got your running back. He's starting to breathe a little deeper. Yeah, that timeout doesn't matter as much as 40 seconds does at this point because you know you're going to want to run the ball, and you just put yourself in a really tricky situation as you're getting down the field. Second and five. The good news is Banks can't see that. Look for the flipped run stretch here. Run right. He will go to the near side. And Tillman securely takes him down at the 36. Tillman has been huge in this ball game. It looked like Teggers maybe could have cuddled up to them blockers a little bit. Kind of took it outside where the where the, he didn't have any blockers. The blockers kind of went inside and he tried to avoid the the, ru the runner didn't expect it, Troy Palomaro to get out there, but he does. I think if he would have just stayed with his blockers, he would have got a bigger gain there. Third and six. Coming up on the two-minute warning. He could take it down there if he wanted. I'd watch Portis out the backfield here. Got to get to the 42. Maybe just past the 41. Make it third and five and a half. And he will take it to the two. Get a little stand back. Pick a play you're confident with. With two minutes remaining in a 3 nothing ball game. I know you're a big baseball fan, but this is this is low scoring. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. This is a low scoring <laughs> game. Not very many possessions going to happen in this game. Every time we've seen Techers go to this gun bunch, though, he's looked good in it. You know, he hasn't made any mistakes out this gun bunch. I would expect him to throw a drag here. He, he just wants to pick up a few yards, make it a little bit easier for himself on fourth down. Third and six after the two-minute warning. Rivers throws. Portis has got some room. It's going to be fourth and short. Scott, he had the post for a touchdown. He had nobody over the top. That was a touchdown. He missed him. And I think if he would have went to the other drag, he would have had a first down. Just, just the worst player he could have thrown it to, but he still picks up six yards. He's going to go for it on his own 40, fourth and one. That's where it gets really scary. I wonder if we'll see a run commit right here out of Banks. 
He'll hand it off. Here come the linebackers. Going to depend on the Ooh, spot. That? It will be a first down, and Banks can't oh. believe it. I thought he might have been Man, short there, close. Scott. But the thing is, the clock is still moving, and he's only at his own 41-yard line. He's not even close to field goal range. Going for the shot play. First and 10. Coming up on a minute to go now. Rivers. Here comes the heat, and they'll drag him down. At the 34 is Pat Pete with a rare sack. I kind of like what Texas, Techers is doing here. He's not calling a timeout because he doesn't know if he's going to pick up this first down yet. Let the clock run. See if you have a good play here, and then use your timeout if you do. You know, Pat Pete called a game with me at the Madden 17 Classic. He's I'm a big Madden head. Let's I, go! I met Pat Pete as well after I had won the Madden Challenge. Good dude. Third and 31. I might throw up. Ball at the 20-yard line. Probably see a run and punt here. Something you're not really too mad at doing when your opponent has Jim Brown and Joe Thomas. You know he's not going to try to throw too much. Tillman with another tackle. I'll tell you what, start to add up. he was one-on-one -on -one there on third and 35, though. I'm not sure I like that too much. Tillman brings him down. Timeout here by Banks. He stopped the clock. 28 seconds to go. Got to get it out of bounds here. And he'll punt it away. And there's Hall. Hall will be forced out at the 49-yard line. He does have one timeout remaining, so perhaps another field goal in his future if he can't break one. I think we'll see a run play here. And then uh, he might go, he might he might go pass run. Probably would have been the, probably the smarter call. But it does look like he's gonna run the ball instead. But look for this RPO. He might throw this slant. I wouldn't sleep on him throwing this slant. He does have the best uh, Dante Hall in the game. All right, Jimmy Brown now no, get man. to the outside. What? And he's he's a little bit upset because Jim Brown had the ball in his left hand, so he wasn't able to stiff arm with that hand, and that's why he just gets wrapped up. He slowed up a little bit trying to switch ball carrier hands, and that's why he was able to make that tackle. Second and seven. Rogers, quick oh, throw. Doesn't matter, he's not gonna get it off, Scott. And that's how the first half will come to a close. Three to nothing here in the final. Points have been stingy. We'll have an opportunity to step away here at halftime. Of course, we got both our players wired up here at the club. Not today, no, no. Let's go, man. Let's go, Pat. Hasn't been a lot of words, hasn't been a lot of scoring. Of course, you still have time to register at registerskins.com backslash fans Madden-20 to win an elite Ryan Kerrigan Core Elite card. Limited supplies available as we head to the second half here in the final, just 10 minutes remaining. I mean, a touchdown could be enough to win the game. Oh, absolutely. Who, who, like I said, I think the first person who's able to get seven is going to take this game home. And if you're Techers, you want that to be you right here on this drive. He's going to start with it first. Here comes Dante Hall, and he'll step out at the 23. Fumbles it out of bounds. One of the few strips we see in this game, and he was luckily on the sideline, gets stripped. Thankfully, it goes out of bounds. Of course, Dante Hall played running back at Texas A&M. Turned specialist for a long time. And he'll hand it off to Clinton. Portis. Wrapped up at the 25, 12 carries for 29 yards. Banks got some run D. He does, and you know what? Techers has, had a, has done a good job when he passes the ball. I'd like to see him pass more. Even go back to the gun bunch. He hasn't been able to stop you when you've been in that formation. Serious Mo, Scott Cole with the air. Final game of the night. Got him. Make and a move. And Hill. Goes to the 41-yard line clock on the move. One of the biggest gains of the day. For Techers. And when you're struggling a little bit on offense and you do get one on one Tyreek Hill versus a safety, I think you need to try to make a move. Don't just run and get tackled. You got to try to hit him with a spin move, maybe even a juke. I don't like just taking the tackle. So first and 10 now. Still on his side of the 50. And he'll stretch it out to Portis. Oh, that wow, time Tillman it. got it's blocked. Oh. And Portis will carry it across midfield to the 46. 
And I would like to see Tigers keep going back to that same exact play call, motion over that right receiver to the left, resetting the play and running it to the right. So that brings up another first down, back to back here for Techers. This is his initial drive to start the second half. Has yet to score. Trailing by three. Philip Rivers once again up under center. Portis will get Stop, it once Troy. again. And Stop, Troy, Troy Palomalu, former Southern Cal grade on the stop. And Techers hasn't had much success in that strong wing this game. He's had a little bit more success in that eye tight formation, but he just keeps going back to the strong wing, kind of wasting plays like we talked about earlier. I'd like to see him run, if he's going to run the ball, be in that eye tight. Second and 13. I'd expect to see the double drag combo with the post. Going to flip the script here at the 49. After getting pushed back on first down. Hit him. Boy, Let's go. all kind Let's go. of missed blocking assignments, and Griffin comes in. He was getting pressure up the middle. They had to pick it up, and Griffin off the edge. Third and 25. <laughs> Rivers, here it comes again. Quick Ooh. throw, and what a grab. Oh, no. I know Banks is upset, oh. but this kind of baits your opponent to want to go for it. You know, if you pick up a few yards, you think you can get oh, the first down all of a sudden, but it looks like he's going to oh, go ahead and man. punt it anyways. Go. He's going to put a boot to it here. Try to angle it. And what a punt. And this will go out of bounds at the one-yard line. Not the corner kick they're used to over in United Kingdom, but that'll work. And you know, Banks just did something that I wouldn't even think to be as smart as it is. He puts his aggressive, he puts his blocking on aggressive, knowing that he's not going to get a safety because they're going to be pushing forward. Just a really smart call that, that I would not even think to do. Brown still on his feet. Out to the five yard line. I expect him to take it off now. That, that was a that was a really smart adjustment that I, that I would not have even been smart enough to think of. If you're going to run the ball, don't recommend it if you're passing. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Second and five, get a little breathing room. He'll go back to Brown, and he'll fall down at the six-yard line. And here comes a key third down. This is where it gets a little scary if you're chewing the clock. You give your opponent a really short field when he's only down one possession, and and if he's able to stop you and you have a short punt, your opponent's in complete control of the game. Huge third down, five yards needed to keep the drive going. Stretches it out to Jim Brown. And oh. Ty Law! What a tackle. What a tackle on that arm bar, oh, Jim Brown. God, I cannot believe he made that tackle. Jim. That was not Dang. a touchdown. That was a <laughs> loss of one. Here comes fourth down. Every play is not a touchdown, guys. Sometimes it feels that way, though, when you're running the ball. I must be honest. He punts it away. Oh, no. This gets over his head. He catches it basket style. He goes full Willie Mays to bring oh, it in at the 42. That was scary. And how about Banks running that fake punt? It has players completely shook. He's coming out on a regular defense because he's so scared, and he's given up a lot of cover, punt coverage position, and he's having to take the ball at the 42 when maybe he would have got at his opponent 40 if he was in a regular punt return. Certainly when you're trailing by three, that's that's big. Look for him to flip the play and run it to the left here, Scott. Gotten cross midfield a few times, but hasn't got anything going. Portis uh -oh. gets a block. Oh. Why does he cut it inside? We're headed to the fourth quarter. It looked like both the safeties got picked up there, Scott. I think he would have broke it there. Drama ensuing as we head to the final five minutes. Put your fours up. It is a three-nothing lead. Of course, you can find all these games out on YouTube. Second and nine. Portis. Oh my goodness. It looks like he had it again. Just just a couple bad plays of bad run vision and bad, maybe a little bit of bad stick. I like him going back to this eye tight though. He's had much more success. The plays, the run plays look like they're gonna work every time he runs them. Third and five now. This is just a decoy, Scott. He's gonna run it to the right here.
Needs to get cross going back field. to the left. He'll come near side. Portis. Go, and he man. just can't Let's get go. away from Pat Tillman. Go for it. Please go for this. Really good adjustment there by Banks. What he did is he kind of nudged I his cornerback so he wouldn't follow the wide receiver back over to the left. Just a really, really good adjustment. Kind of made Techers think a little bit. If he doesn't come back in this one, he's going to watch those runs on first and second down, thinking what might have been. He empties out the backfield. Watch this hitch route. And he throws it to Hill on the oh, other side. Spain. Makes Troy Palomalu miss. We might have our first touchdown out of the game, Spain. and it is. Tackers on top. Great call there by Tackers. I would have loved to see Banks drop back in coverage. It was fourth down. You know he can't run with his quarterback. You left too many guys on a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> island. You cannot put a safety on uh, Tyreek Hill. He's never going to be able to guard him. Extra point up, and it's good. Four plays, 58 yards, and Techers. It's our first touchdown of the ball game. And 3.48 Scott, to go. And, Scott, we've seen Ghost struggle to get down the field in this position, and he passes the ball every play. We're going to see Banks try to establish the run. If he does not break a run, he has no chance. Troy. Got spun around, didn't know where to go. Tillman can't chase him down. Biggest play of the game. Jimmy, Mr. Brown to the outside. First down at the 38. Those plays make it a little bit easier to, to control the clock. And if you're getting stretched to the outside and out of bounds, it's easy peasy. Back to Brown. And Jim I Brown will go nowhere. Oh, Maybe got a yard. Come on, man. Only, only 42 yards rushing, though, for Banks. That really takes me by surprise. Yeah, both these guys got the running game boxed up. Got to come down to a big play. Brown runs over. Was that Telvin Smith? I think that over? was Telvin Smith who got flattened. Third and four now. Clock on the move, 250 left in the ball game. Joe Thomas with that nasty streak over on the left side. Jim Brown. It has not been a good day for Jim Brown. It hasn't. That is way in the semifinal. Tekers can feel it, Sky. He knows if he gets a stop here, he's going to be the Redskins club champion. Fourth and four at the 44-yard line. I would love to see coverage here. Goes to the air. And throws oh. and the coverage. Troy Palomalu has picked it off. Pick six. He might take it all the way, and he will. Let's look, let's go. Long hair, don't care, Techers oh. with a pick six. You can just see it. You can just yeah, see fight, it. You can, yeah, he fight. feels so good right now. I love seeing that. Uh, I love seeing it. You can see right through his face. He's so excited. Back-to-back -back huge plays for Techers on both sides of the ball, and he was scoreless for about 13, 14 minutes of this ball game, but he's put up 14 points in the last two minutes. He turned it on, and I really... Oh, oh no! God, it's a fumble! Forget Fucking about goal. it! Ray Lewis Pizza. into the end zone! Techers! It is all the man oh. from across the pond! The script flipped fast in this game, Scott. He started playing why? phenomenal defense. Why? I told you, why? once somebody gets seven, it's going to put a lot why of pressure on that so offense, and he just wasn't course. able to do it. Remember all those times where I was saying, man, these guys swagging out on kickoffs. I don't know if I like it. Just fall down, run out of bounds. I couldn't agree more. This is when it comes back to bite you. Oh, yeah, we got Jim Brown. Yeah, let him know. And Jim Brown. Yeah, you know what he's Banks. This is rough. Ortiz, boom. Did he just try to truck with Ortiz, the 10 capper? And Banks now can't believe it. He was up three to nothing, and now he surrendered 15 21 for 40. unanswered. 15 for 40 with Nelson Street. This ain't it. <laughs> That's my saying. Ain't you it. can't say it ain't it. Second and seven. His first two touchdowns were pretty good, but to take a British slang, that last one was a bit jammy. A little little luck. Yeah, for sure. Coming in for Techers to make it 21 to 3. Rogers. Hey. And sack him up. Ray Lewis says, I'm still here. And one thing I noticed with Techers, 
he has really, really good defensive user that we don't see from a lot of players. He's making all these plays with, oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it. Here comes Jim Brown up the sideline. will step out of the 38 after the long game. Joe Thomas wasn't having none of that. I mean, this is a huge monumental victory here for Techers after, like you said, the rules didn't allow him to, to play until two years ago. So he certainly made a name for himself last year, and this just adds to the resume. Yeah, and we would hear Ghost when he got matched up with Techers. We, and he would be like, oh, you know, Techers is a good player. And, you know, us as pro players are like, Ghost, you say everybody's good. You're afraid of everybody. We get it. And to actually see Techers come out here and be exactly what Ghost is talking about, it's a cool thing to see. I can definitely agree Techers is a phenomenal player. Techers was the number one seed, went 3-0 and in the online stage. And, and, you know, Big Show was one of our four finalists here that Banks beat. He beat Big Show 35-16. to And let's talk about how that was his closest game in the, in the <laughs> online series. So Techers is the real deal, man. He gets it done. He plays a ton of games, and he's a phenomenal player. He knows what to do. He picks up the belt. He is the Washington Redskins club champion here in Men 20. For the longtime Redskins fan, this is a dream come true for Techers. Uh, Techers, like I said, he plays a lot of games online. He, there's nothing he hasn't seen before, and I'm really, really impressed with the stick work he has on defense. He's now 11 and three, and he's got the belt, and Evan standing by. All right, we're here with the champ. The Redskins have crowned Techers as their club representative. Huge moment for your career. Uh, just Huge. talk me through what's going on in your mind, man. That's, it's just utter elation right there. I felt kind of nervous, not going to lie, my first few drives, but just realized what he was doing on defense. Made some plays. The run wasn't there. If I stopped the run, I was going to be fine. That was a thing. Made a little bit nervous so I couldn't move the ball at the start, but it was good. It was yeah, fun. it was a low-scoring game for a long time. Then yeah. the floodgates opened. You had that pick yeah. six, obviously. Did that really seal the deal for you in your mind? Yeah, I had, I had good defense out there and just saw the post route coming and just went straight there. Just thought I'd be his read on the play and made, made a play my user. Elation. I want, to, I want to dive into that word. Why is it <laughs> uh, elating to have achieve this. What does this mean because to you to represent the Redskins? It's like an underdog story, isn't it? Yeah. UK, never, never made it and stuff. And just to be able to go there to Final 32 again and show that I'm one of the best and can be one of the best, just haven't been given the chance, and this is it. That's an My amazing, chance. it's an amazing thing, man. You took the chance. How about that Ray Lewis play, that fumble that you picked up, took yeah. in again to seal the deal as well? Yeah, I th in, oh, two scores here is a good position, but you never know of him having three timeouts. This fumble iced the game. Didn't get down quick enough. Do, do, you, do you feel bad flooding the gates like that at the end of the game? Yeah, you feel no. like it was a little bit more competitive than the no, score yeah, show? It was a lot more competitive than what the score showed. Yeah. It's just like, it's what happens, isn't it? Well, it was your moment, man. Obviously, your father said, I must have done something right introducing yeah. him to football. Yeah, he definitely did. Uh, how sweet for the Redskins as well to have a representative yeah. so diversified as far as their love for football, showing how far they reach yeah. as a brand um, in, in the UK. Have you seen them play in the UK, by the way? Yeah, I watched them play the Bengals at Wembley. Oh, two really? Or three years ago. It was a draw. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah I've been there a few times. And, and how much does it mean to you that you're doing this for the Redskins and not yeah, any other club huge. out there? This is the team I support. This is the one. Goes is always in it. He's a tough player. I'm coming back every time. This is my club, so I'm here. Wow. Already claiming the club as well. He took down the number one two-time defending champ. Obviously, he claimed the Redskins belt as well. Thank you so much, Techers. You. you are the new Thank representative you. for the Redskins. Let's send it back to Scott for the highlights to close this day out.